Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining. We'll give it till 105 to allow a few more people to log in. Uh, we'll begin in one, at 105. Thank you for your patience. Hello everyone, just coming out once again to remind that we will be starting at 105 to give everyone a chance to log in. Thank you for your patience. Hey everyone, we'll start in one minute. Thank you for your patience once again.
Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today on the Ready Up NYC webinar series. My name is Abigail and I'm part of the Ready New York team here at New York City Emergency Management. Today, we will hear from Denise Esposito, who is part of our Community Engagement Unit here at New York City Emergency Management, and she'll be covering the topic of Community Emergency Response Team Volunteer Program, other known as CERT. So during the presentation, we ask that you please use the Q&A section so we can compile and answer them at the end of the presentation. Now, uh, I'll welcome Denise uh, and allow her to begin. Thank you, Abby. Uh, welcome to the Ready Up webinar. I'm Denise Esposito, CERT Recruitment and Retention Specialist from New York City Emergency Management CERT program. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today to talk about CERT training and how to become a New York City CERT member. I just wanna share this overview of what we'll be covering today. Uh, we will be discussing the CERT program mission the requirements for CERT membership and the 11 session hybrid CERT basic training, the ways that CERT members engage with their fellow members and leadership, their community and with New York City emergency management, the expectations and commitment involved in being a CERT member and additional training opportunities after graduation and how to apply and what the next steps are. So CERTs prepare their neighborhoods for disaster deploy to respond to actual incidents and engage in recovery efforts. They help to prepare, CERTs help out with emergency preparedness in a few ways. They educate their communities about preparedness with Ready New York program literature. They build their community emergency network by introducing themselves as the, at their local police precincts and firehouses before an emergency happens. This ensures that their local first responders are aware of their presence in the community and that they are available as a resource. They attend additional training opportunities after they graduate to continue to build new skills for deployments. They also help out in the response, starts to assist their community by deploying alongside first responders. They help out with crowd control, traffic management, distribution of resources, among other capacities. We often hear from colleagues that CERT was an amazing help. They also help out in the recovery. After all the press coverage has decreased, recovery returns to the community level. CERTs help out during the recovery phase through distribution, human services, identifying resources, and making sure all issues are addressed. New York City CERT is unique and very different from other CERTs in that they follow a strict protocol and do not self-deploy. Why do you think that NISOM does not allow CERT to self-deploy? Well, self-deployment can be dangerous. NISOM needs to know the whereabouts of all volunteers in the field and ensure that they return safely from each deployment or event. What is the primary goal of CERT? Preparedness is the primary goal of CERT in the absence of emergencies and disasters. The more prepared the community is before an emergency, the more efficient and organized they will be during an emergency. So how do CERTs fit into the agency and help NISOM achieve its mission? They inform, educate, and train their neighbors on disaster preparedness. They assist public safety agencies in their local community with public events. And they respond to locally occurring disasters by strictly following CERT protocols and supporting emergency personnel upon their arrival and request. CERT members must be, here's just a few of our requirements. Uh, they must be 18 years of age or older, live and or work in one of New York City's five boroughs, pass a NISOM background check, and new for this year, adhere to the New York City vaccine mandate for city workers, interns, and volunteers. So this is a little bit about our basic training. After completing the online application, CERT candidates must attend a virtual orientation session to make an educated decision on whether they would like to move forward with membership. They must also complete the online FEMA course, IS100.C, Introduction to the Incident Command System, to give them a baseline education on structured response during emergencies. <clears throat> the basic training is an 11 session hybrid delivered training which meets two evenings a week from 6.30 till 9.30 p.m. 
Two sessions are offered each cycle. One session is on a Monday, Wednesday schedule, and the other is on a Tuesday, Thursday schedule. All instructors are certified first responders from FDNY Fire, NYPD, FDNY EMS, and NISM. We hold a graduation after every cycle. Topics that will be covered in basic training include introduction to NISM and CERT, emergency management and community preparedness, where CERTs will learn how it, uh, how it, it takes a whole community working together and building partnerships to be properly prepared. CERT volunteers will engage with many community groups during their membership. It is important to spread the word on what steps are needed to be sure that everyone is safe. They'll also, um, one of the topics is scene management and traffic management, as well as disaster medical operations, disaster basic first aid, human services and psychological effects of emergencies. CERT members may be interacting with residents that have experienced loss, so it is important for them to learn how to engage with them in a patient and sensitive way. This training and subsequent exercise will provide best practices and helpful role play with instructors who work through challenging situations. They also cover fire safety and utility emergencies, light search and rescue, terrorism awareness, and effective communications and radio basics. As I stated earlier, this is a hybrid training. So some classes are virtual and others are in-person. All in-person classes involve exercises to practice the skills that certs are learning. This is a good time to mention that all of the gear you see here and all of the training that certs receive are free. CERT members are providing a service to their fellow New Yorkers, so they are never asked to pay for anything that they receive from NISM. After graduation, CERT members join their local division members and begin to attend the monthly meeting, currently virtual. Leadership is made aware of new members joining the division before graduation and may have already begun to include them in team communications. One year of service is the expectation as a member of CERT. Many members remain in the program for several years and take advantage of leadership opportunities and additional training. We hope that you will take advantage of all of the opportunities that New York City CERT has to offer. CERT's main function is to do emergency preparedness events, but at times CERT members may be asked if available to assist during response and recovery operations. All CERT roles and expectations can be found in the CERT standard operating procedures, which is linked in every weekly newsletter they receive. CERT volunteers continue to build skills throughout their membership by taking advantage of advanced training classes and other leadership and task force opportunities. While a CERT member's main goal is to provide preparedness education prior to emergencies, CERTs also participate in planned and emergency deployments. Pictured here are a few examples of some recent deployments that CERT members assisted at. Picture one, the funeral for NYPD officer Jason Rivera in January of 2022. CERT volunteers assisted first responders by performing pedestrian traffic management and directional guidance for attendees. Picture two, Thanksgiving Eve parade balloon inflation. November, 2021. CERTs regularly participate in this annual event to assist with crowd control and directional guidance. Picture three, the Bronx Five Alarm Fire Service Center, January, 2022. CERT volunteers assisted residents affected by the fire at the service center by directing them to services available to them and helping to restock items for distribution throughout the day. CERT members never self-deploy They'll hear that a lot during their membership. Volunteers are deployed by New York City Emergency Management if a defined role is established for them on scene. All details are shared with volunteers before they register for any events or deployments. I just wanted to give you an idea of some other training that we offer. After graduation, new CERT members will have access to our advanced training opportunities. Here are some of the current advanced training classes that we offer. You may recognize or even take, have taken some of these trainings through other organizations, but CERT members must take the training approved by the New York City CERT program to be able to participate in CERT approved roles. We have developed a CERT specific point-to-point -point radio training 
and there is a position on the team called the communications liaison for eligible members who have taken this training. Advanced training is a great way to gain new skills and also to achieve volunteer hours. Volunteers with a large number of hours can receive certificates and awards and other recognition throughout the year. CERT volunteers can also advance their skills by taking on a leadership or task force position during their membership. Some positions are appointed by CERT staff while others are elected through team members. Currently, there are three different task force opportunities for members that focus on different needs for the program. They are recruitment or deployment group member or radio committee member. Radio committee members are required to take the point-to-point -point radio training course mentioned above. This video is on YouTube and it was developed with the help of actual CERT members. We wanted to provide a little snapshot from their experience and perspective on the program. CERT is the Community Emergency Response Team program for New York City. The most important thing that you gotta understand about CERT is we really can't operate without the community. CERT members like me are trained in basic response skills by members of the FDNY, NYPD, and New York City Emergency Management. It is great to be able to learn from them firsthand something that they do every single day uh, to keep us safe, especially here in New York. We learn all kinds of valuable skills. Floods, fires, being evacuated from your home, any emergency. How to make go bags, how to complete an emergency plan. I have a whole newfound awareness of how to stay safe on the subway, which is a very big thing. When you're disabled, you have to be able to plan ahead for yourself and others around you. You're trained over multi-weeks in a, a whole variety of different things, from first aid to crowd control. Traffic control is a biggie. Everyone can contribute, and that's an important part of being a community emergency response team member. This is something that's worth my time to volunteer. As a CERT volunteer, I'm trained to help all New Yorkers regardless of any ability they have. The more you know, the more you're able to help your neighbors. So we need you in our community. New York City CERT volunteers come from all five boroughs. All of us are working together to make sure that all of our neighborhoods are uh, safe, prepared. There's very little more rewarding than helping somebody out in distress. Please join us. Get involved. Become a volunteer today. So apply now. Here's how. The first step is to apply online. You can find a link to our online application in the chat. Uh, thanks, Abby, if you could put that up. Uh, next, you will need to attend a virtual orientation session. This will provide a full overview of the program. There are several sessions available for applicants to choose from. Sessions are held monthly. Once your application is processed, you will receive an email with registration information for available orientation sessions. You must submit several required documents for your background check and vaccination status. You will also need to provide your certificate of completion for the online FEMA course. Once all of that is complete, and you have passed the background check, you may register for basic training. The next basic training cycle begins in June. Only applicants that have completed an orientation session are eligible to register for basic training, so don't wait to apply and get the ball rolling. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Uh, and we want to preface that that video was recorded pre-COVID-19, and that's why you probably don't see uh, masks in the video. We'll now open it up to Q&A. So as a reminder, please use the Q&A box. We'll give it a few minutes for people to put their questions in there. In the meantime, I'm also putting in the CERT application link in the chat box 
for anyone that's interested in uh, finding out more information or clicking around to see um, what we have to offer. Uh, and we also have the uh, CERT general email in case you have any uh, further questions, maybe after the presentation or after uh, you rewatch this video. And that is CERT. So it's C E R T at OEM nyc.gov just in case because i know we had someone on the phone um, i don't see any questions coming in through the chat uh, but i do want to thank everyone for their for their time today uh, and if you did miss a portion of the presentation or you would like to share this it will be on our youtube channel uh, and now is where I'll put a little plug in for our Ready New York program. So if anyone is interested in uh, getting an emergency preparedness presentation or if they have an upcoming event that they would like us to be present at with our uh, superhero Ready Girl, uh, you can request us at nyc.gov backslash Ready New York. Or you can also follow us and subscribe to our social media channels. We have Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, we constantly post invitations for our events um, and information on just what's going on uh, that you might need to stay informed about. I'll give it one more minute. If there are, if I don't see any questions, then we'll end the session a little early today. I am resending the link. I saw a question in the chat if the link was sent. If it is not working in the chat box, you can always look it up by nyc.gov backslash C-E-R-T, or you can look up Community Emergency Response Team and New York City Emergency Management together. Um, I did see someone say that they missed some of it because uh, of technical issues. I'll repeat that this was a recorded session and it will be up on our YouTube channel within 24, uh, 24 to 48 hours. So we can, you can watch it a little later if you like. I just want to again, thank everyone for tuning in and hopefully we uh, we're pretty thorough <laughs> and that's why there's no questions. Um, but of course, if you have any further questions afterwards, feel free to reach out. We're happy to answer them. Thank you, Denise, and thank you everyone. I hope everyone has a great day.